Oh, I see some Bachelorette contestants in here. <laughs> Monday, September 12, 2016. My co-host today, of course, is Chris Harrison. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. So good to see you again. Nice to see you here. So nice to see you here on such a somber and reflectful day uh, yesterday was. And to have you here today is uh, just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, well, yeah. it's good. And everyone seems fired up here. Yeah, yeah, today. of course. Yeah. Yes. Very. Did you, um, now, were you, did you drive from Atlantic City? How did you get here? Because you're everywhere Yeah, so right you know, for those of you who don't know, we did Miss America last night. Um, I got the name right. I was. Yes. That's really, since, since that debacle, I have not slept. Yeah, knowing, I bet. Knowing I bet. that I was going to be doing the next Miss America, the next big pageant, and I needed to say a name correctly, which shouldn't be a big deal. In, 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 in the end, it was not. Right. Um, but yeah, it was. But it uh, is the kind of thing that keeps you awake. It does. At night. As a host, that is your biggest nightmare. And Miss America herself has a name that, to she me, her won. mom, her mom looked down and said, "One day you will be Miss America." Right. <laughs> Savvy Shields. Savvy, Savvy Shields, Shields from Arkansas. Miss Arkansas, congratulations. Congratulations. But, uh, yeah. There she is. Oh, she is here tomorrow. Okay, yeah. good. We have yes. our selfie right after the uh, yeah. ceremony. Uh, but yeah, Savvy Shields, I mean, that name is perfect. Yes. To either be a stunt woman or Miss, Miss America. America. Yeah, yeah you so can, we, it goes one or two ways. So we, I'm like, here, here's your crown. I sprint out of there. I'm in Atlantic City, which typically I'm told is two hours away. Yeah, well, I mean, who told you that? Well, and so it's midnight, so yeah. there's no traffic. No one's on the road. Right, so that... Somehow we made it a three-hour tour. Yeah. It was Gilligan's Island all over again as we circled. So I drove into town last night, as you mentioned, it was a very somber day, and, and we were struck by, you know, they had the uh, the twin beams going up into the heavens. Yes. And um, the Empire State Building was red, white, and blue. It was a very beautiful yes. scene last night. Um, and... It we we uh we can see the lights the beam of lights from our apartment and uh and, and it was weird this year because i kept taking photos of it because we could see it so clearly and i would take photos with my cell phone um but that's my photo because i had to make it in black and white for you to see it in the picture it was so strange it was not showing up in the photos and then i and then i did the thing where you know how you can make the photo right. black and white and i did that Came and through. then you could see it it was really beautiful last night coming yeah. in that late but the odd thing is um, you know, we were coming right into New York City and we saw that. And then all of a sudden it was on my right. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden I was past it. And I'm like, sir, did we miss New York City? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah, we missed, we missed the tunnel. I said, we missed Manhattan. Right. I mean, it's I That's mean, hard to miss. Yeah, I grew up in Texas. It's easy to miss some small towns. Right. Manhattan, you shouldn't miss. It's the one with the buildings, with so, all the buildings. And I'm excited to get here. I'd like to get a little sleep. All of a sudden, I see Manhattan in our rearview mirror. And I'm like, we really should go that way. And so we circled around Manhattan, came in, a, you know. He wanted you to see all of, all, everything New York has to offer. The so east now, side, the west side. But now I know why you New Yorkers are like this. When you just yell at the cabbie or yell at the guy and tell him where to go. That, yeah. I became that guy last night. I felt like <laughs> such a local. I'm like, take the Washington Bridge. You need to go up the Hudson Parkway. No, turn. Yeah. And so that, that was my night last night, or actually my morning at 2.30 in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we had a, we had a great um, we had a summer party. We had a summer party. Uh, one of our producers here, Cindy McDonald, threw an end of summer party for all of us uh, staff members, which is which was so fun and so generous, especially considering how much we all drink. Um, so I wanted to show you some pictures from this party because I think it was, I think it's kind of, it's just kind of funny because I never hand my camera to anybody. Right. Because whenever I do. Nothing good's going to happen. No, I'm always regretful because right. I am convinced that nobody knows how to take a picture except for me. Um, so I will start with, oh, well, oh my gosh, I have pictures. I have pictures of our entire day together. I spent the entire day with Lori. Showways. First of all, we took a Soul Cycle class. This is us before Soul Cycle, and this is us after. Right. That looks like you guys after the party. Yeah. Well, it could have been same same look. Um, and then, so here we are. We got a party 
a party bus. You know, a party bus that uh, so nobody had to right, drive. Right, smart. And so here we all are on the party bus. Now this is me taking a selfie in a moving bus. See how you can pretty much see all of us? We're all clear. That's solid work. That's right. Solid. Thanks a lot. Then we go to the party and I hand my camera off and I go get some pictures so I can show on the air. Okay. There's that one. That could literally uh, be anywhere at any party yeah. in the world. Wait, here's another one. That's a good one. So that's great. Yep. I feel like. Wait, here's a couple more. Wait, like, get one with get one with me in it. Get one with me. Okay. I feel like that's right. just. Good. I feel like this is an episode of Cops and this is surveillance video. <laughs> Do this you know who flash. this person was? Put the flash on. Yeah. And the flash. Yeah, that's just yep. useless. I said I said put the flash on. No, like it's it's on. It flashed. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there there the, when was this part? This is yesterday. This was Saturday. Oh, Saturday. So everyone's recovered because the staff was a little sluggish. I noticed coming in today. Oh. Uh, say it's going to be a two to three day recovery. <laughs> I would say some of us, some of us really. Uh, do you want to see my summer party? I do. This is my summer party. Wait, 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 that is. That is, uh... <laughs> that is. Wait, are you in paradise? That's uh, we're in paradise. Are you in paradise? That's Jorge. <laughs> Jorge. See, look, they love Jorge. Easily the most famous member of paradise is Jorge the bartender. <laughs> Who, who the most the, crucial member of the staff. Yes, he's like, right, yeah, right. without him, we don't have a show. Right. Um, yeah, and, and by the way, he is a wonderful man, very kind man, and he really does get, you know, I don't know if you watched the end of the show, but he was crying in the interview. He's so sad when we leave. He gives us all gifts, and he's like, Mr. Chris, Mr. Chris. He's like, I, you know, I thank you for being here. They are the sweetest guy. Right. And so Jorge, and so we, we, we should hire him here and just have a full-time bartender. Oh, my gosh, I say it all the time. Bring paradise to Kelly. I say it all the time because um, there are certain members of our team that are so much more fun and more tolerable when they are drunk. Right. <laughs> or maybe it's when I am drunk. Right. I don't know. But there are people I really enjoy so much when we are both drunk. Good. It's like the, the famous line from the country song, you ain't much fun since I quit drinking. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's so good, true. That's a good song. Yeah, um, so, so so what happened with The Bachelor in Paradise? There were three, three, three. engagements, right? What more do you want from but me? None three of proposals. These, none of these people will get married, though, right? Stop I mean, yeah, That's not true. Oh, no, come on, I've be married, honest. I married uh, Tanner and Jade this summer. They got <laughs> right. Wait, you married them yourself? I met, yeah, I actually officiated the wedding. You did? Yeah, I've officiated like three bachelor weddings. Do you feel like... A, 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 I'm sensing your skepticism. Yeah. I get it. It's well, washing you know, all over I'm, me. No, I'm very... You know I'm the biggest skeptic. No, I know. I'm the biggest I skeptic. Know. How many of... Are they still together? Very much so. Very much so. Yeah, very much so. And we have three, and we actually have a backlog. I don't have time. It's like JFK on a holiday. We have so many weddings to be, because we have the three from Paradise. Right. Um, we have JoJo, and we have uh, Jordan Rogers, or Aaron Rogers from the Packers, whichever one is fine. One of them. Yeah, and then uh, of course we have Ben and Lauren. Right. Who are going to get married this year, so that's a lot. It is that's a lot of weddings do I you, have coming up. Do you have to perform all the ceremonies? If no. they ask, I usually do now. It's kind of my thing. I think that people who get married on TV feel a greater pressure to stay together. And, and I, <laughs> no, because we, right. we used to perform weddings here uh, every year for, was it Valentine's Day? Or, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Do Valentine's Day. We got a Day Groundhog Day. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and they're all still together. And I'm convinced it's because they did it on TV. Right. And you're, at that point, when everybody saw you get married, you got it. You got it. You got to stick it out. Maybe that is too many accent. people. Are I always worried. thought they were actually in love. Silly me. <laughs> Hopeless romantic. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> right. <laughs> How are your kids, by the way? My kids are, are they awesome. Grown ups? Uh, yes, they're they're 35 and for <laughs> now. Let's see if I have a. Uh, well, speaking of paradise, they were uh, they were with me. That's so. This is my paradise. You they, brought the kids to paradise. <laughs> yes, because I am such. That is good parenting. Um, but that's that's Jordan and Connor, my niece and nephew, on and the bookends there is my daughter Taylor and Joshua, who's just started high school. I can't believe how big they are already. I have a high schooler. I have a colleger. Yeah, don't. <laughs> You gotta trump me. You can't. You, I can't have a minute. No, I'm just saying. It's like if yeah. you, th you think you think that you think that you know suffering, and then yeah, oh. actually, um, knock on wood, they're still they're, they are great, wonderful human beings. So yeah, I try to bring them. This is our summer vacation as they come down to paradise and learn what love is all about. Yeah. And um, they're interning under Jorge the bartender. Yeah. So it really is. 
<laughs> Solid parenting. This is nature, kids. Child, nature. Child Protective Services is on their way here right now. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I have a full-on teenager. I mean, my son, it's great. I can get up, go play golf, do everything, go work out, go shopping, do everything, come home about noon, and he's like, ugh. <laughs> He just, and then he wakes up, and yeah, then he stands right. up about three inches taller than I am now. No kidding. Yeah, I didn't. I did. I was hoping to make it to high school before he was bigger than me, but um, yeah. So Joshua and Taylor are doing great. Oh, uh, I can't. And how? And and wait, how old is she? She's she's twelve. He's fifteen. Twelve. Okay, turning fifteen 12. this week. Wow. Yeah, we have a fifteenth oh. uh, birthday coming up. Quince. Right? Yeah. Well, I also do bar mitzvahs and quinceañeras. Yes, I do. Yeah, course, as well right. as weddings. Oh, that's exciting. Now, will he do anything special? Like, do your kids have birthday parties or? Oh, I'm huge on birthdays. You are. I, I have a season. Yeah. Mine just ended. Mine was back in July. Mine just ended. Yeah. Um, it's not too late if you guys want to get gifts. But yeah, we, yes, we will have a big birthday celebration next weekend. My, uh, it's funny, my daughter, my daughter's birthday this year fell on my son's graduation. Oh. Um, and she somehow blamed me for that. Right. Like I, <laughs> so you we, ruined my life. We had, a, we had a graduation party for Michael. I offered her the opportunity to have a birthday party a month before his graduation. She said no. She doesn't want a keen say. She just wants a sweet 16. Okay, fine. So I welcome everybody to Michael's graduation party. And she stands up and says, and let's not forget that most importantly, it is my birthday. <laughs> You can do no right. I mean, you're it right. Was, you're in that wheelhouse yeah. right now. Uh, uh huh. Yep, that's a 15 year old girl right there <laughs> in a nutshell. Listen, we have a big show. I am so excited about today's you know, show. Look, for so many reasons. Can I just jump in and say, yeah. you know, a lot of times you say you have a big show. No, no, we have. Big this show. show is insane today. Yeah, insane. it is insane today. Patrick Dempsey is here. <laughs> I saw him backstage. He is not that good looking. I'm just telling you, be warned. It's all, it was all makeup and it's all CG. He's not attractive. So handsome. And the incomparable Sophia Loren. I know. I know. I know. Crazy. I'm so nervous. I I, I'm nervous. You know who else is? I actually ran into Patrick Dempsey backstage and he's like, Sophia Loren. I said, I know. We, we're all giddy. We're like eight year old kids on Christmas morning. Do you know what I did? I took a picture of the name tag on her dressing room door. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, we're a bunch of fangirls back here. By yeah. the way, uh, you, I'm a big sports guy. Oh, yeah. The this US is... Open was incredible. And both winners, men's and women's champions, are here today. Yes. yes. Thurber. Yeah, very exciting. And we have to talk about the men's final, toe gate. The oh, cramping and the yes. toe gate, and we got a lot to talk about with yeah. that. Yeah, have you ever had a toe, an, an issue with your toe? Mine are good. No, I have good toes. I have good feet. And yeah, I, yeah I, I've never done the fake blisters slash the cramping was happening. We got to get to the bottom of this. You toe think it gate. was a fake? I think it was a fake. Oh. I'm going on record. Who's the skeptic now? Oh. <laughs> Um, and also, we're going to talk about the new season of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Premieres today. Today. Yeah, I'm really from, excited about it. From Vegas. Yeah, we shot this season in Vegas. My second year of hosting Millionaire premieres today. Check your local listings. Um, really excited. We're going to talk but a little more about honestly, that later. Honestly, Chris, do people still want to be a millionaire? I mean, <laughs> and who would want to be a millionaire? <laughs> Okay. We had so many things to talk about. Okay, we'll get, I know, we'll get right? to it another time. Another time. Uh, it's time for, oh, put your, put got your you. thing on. Yes, got put you. it on. Yes, we Look at that. <laughs> we spared no expense All of a sudden, this is like here. a bachelor. Mine's yeah. out of batteries. Uh -oh. Gelman. <laughs> All right, it works anyway. The confetti will work. You know I have kids. When I, this is how you fix things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, That's, oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. It's time for Take Off Travel Trivia. <laughs> there in the iPad, I hit you directly in the face with all, I mean, the entire thing in one clump went into your face. I know, I'm sorry. 
I got ner I got nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, right in her I eyes. I saw that. And, I will know. testify. <laughs> and ma'am, there's an exit right over there. Yeah. There's an exit right over there. Right here. Right right here. Hey, uh, from Woodmere, New York, is Pearl Wolken, who's oh, our yeah. trivia man. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. I didn't. I didn't see her dance at all because I was too concerned. <laughs> she was about the lady She's like, oh. <laughs> uh, who's on the phone? Um, who see? do we have? We have uh, Paul from Seattle, Washington. Kelly Paul. Kelly, Kelly Paul. Paul. Oh, okay. Kelly Paul. Oh. Hi, Chris. Oh. I got this. <laughs> hey, Kelly, what's going on? Kelly's calling us from. Guys? She's calling us from a kayak wow. in Seattle. <laughs> That's so cool. Is that Seattle? Oh yeah, I can see the. That is yeah. Seattle. Yeah yeah yeah. I can, yeah. I can see it. Yeah. Very cool. What do you do uh, for a living? I sell mailing software. Oh. <laughs> you got nothing. You got nowhere to go with that. <laughs> that you, you. She, it's Kelly's like, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. Got, that that's sounds. fantastic. <laughs> because oh. software sales for short. And apparently, yep. you love, and apparently you love to kayak as well. Well, that, a job like that deserves a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Way to save it. There you go. You can always save that. <laughs> Spin the wheel. See what you're playing for, Callie. <laughs> Here's a great prize. The Esperanza in Cabo St. Lucas, Mexico. Nice. I just said St. Lucas. San Lucas. Seven days, six nights in an ocean view garden casita. <laughs> that sounds like paradise. That sounds good. That yeah. sounds, that, and that then does Jorge come with it? Does Jorge come with it? Ooh, that can be negotiated. Play your cards right, Callie. We can arrange that. <laughs> it okay. includes a spa treatment per person. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $9,500. You have 20 seconds and only one guest. Callie, good luck. All right, Callie, you ready to go? Yes. Yeah. All right. Jessica Alba appeared on Friday's show. Whose swimming pool did Jessica say she modeled her own after? Whose swimming pool did Jessica Alba say she modeled her own after? Anderson Cooper. Yes. That's it! Congratulations, you were the guest who enjoy seven days and six nights at the Esperanza in Cabo San Lucas, the only private beach resort with an incomparable natural setting, tucked between two scenic bluffs on the Baja Peninsula and boasting a world without luxury spa, championship golf courses, secluded beaches, and a vibrant nightlife, the award-winning luxury resort Esperanza promises a vacation you'll cherish for years to come. Your price is valued at approximately $9,500. Kelly, I'm not going to lie. That looks yeah. gorgeous. <laughs> Kelly and I are saying we are going to I was like, that's too. a nice place. <laughs> um, and Chris, I can't wait. Chris was saying that he thinks maybe... I think we shot The Bachelor there one time with Brad Womack years ago. I think we have. You guys set these bachelors up for failure. I'm telling you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> They think that life is like that. It is. <laughs> Apparently it is here on this show. No, I'm telling you, you want to set them up for real life, take them to get strep tests with their kids. Callie, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> congrats. Listen. Thank you. Now you get to help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a 500, oh, $500 in movie tickets from Fandango. <laughs> And 235. 200. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got a big show coming up from Patrick Dempsey. Still ahead online, we'll talk with legendary actress Sophia Loren. We'll open up Kelly's inbox to hear your comments and questions. Coming up next, Patrick Dempsey.
Ladies Come and the people. <laughs> Patrick, what a welcome. Thank you, everybody. Good morning. Woo. Great to be back on the show. Patrick, be honest. When you open your eyes in the morning, is that the response? <laughs> Just, when you wake up, it's like just. I wish. What a what a great way to ruckus start applause. The day. Yeah. Jeez. It's I, a little quieter at home. Yeah. It's funny. It's I'm watching grown women um, cry. They're crying. Oh, really? <laughs> they're crying. People always say <laughs> people always say swooning, but I've never seen it. Yeah, they're actually. That's what that's what it looks that's like. That's what a swoon Remarkable. looks like. That's what a yeah. swoon looks mm -hmm. like. Well, you okay, lady? You want a fan? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh my God. Come here. What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh. New York, a nice week for Pearl. If there were only, sorry. Okay, sir. Now everybody. I know. Is Pearl? Security. Thank you. Security. Security. Is there a doctor in the house that plays one on TV? So clearly. So clearly, you will always be uh, McDreamy. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. It was a great ride. Do you ever go to McDonald's? <laughs> you know, I did once. I, we had. Um, <laughs> I was. Uh, I was. As I was in Japan. Mm -hmm. We had just won um, a race over there, uh, and we and, the, oh, right. and we went to celebrate, and we went to McDonald's yeah. because I, you know I was really really conscious of what you know you're you, you know you're training, you're right. watching your diet. I was like, you know what, I'm tired of this. I'm gonna go have a burger. Yeah. And we went in in this uh, McDonald's uh, out in the countryside in Japan, and, and that's when I went to McDonald's. And it and when and was it a regular McDonald's or sure was it special? It, well, they had like uh, like uh, a mixed shrimp. Make sure. <laughs> Which was funny. So anyway, no but when they saw know. you, they must have thought that you were. They didn't think. They they couldn't quite understand what I was doing there. But that was fun. McDreamy you, uh, just that was the last time I went to McDreamy. Get the Mc McDreamy. Shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're always going to be McDreamy, but uh, yeah. I mean, I'm grateful for that. But yeah, sure. Back in the day, tell me this movie means a lot to you because it was such a good movie. Can't buy me love. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh. How old were you? Much younger than I am today. Right. I was in, uh, you... I think it was 19 or 20, I think, when I okay. did that movie. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that was the first movie that was very successful for me. Oh, my God. It changed my career completely. Yeah. And, uh, of course, there's Amanda, who um, we yeah. unfortunately just lost a year ago. Yeah, so sad. sad very, very that. sad, yes. Sad news, yeah. Does, has your daughter seen that movie? The kids, yes. How old is she? Because she's... My daughter's 14. Four, oh, 14, okay. And okay. it goes by so quickly. I saw yeah. the pictures of right. your daughter. It's like, and just now, like the... there's that transition from, like, girl to now she's this young woman. I mean, it's amazing how beautiful and oh, what's great is she's so beautiful inside that it's just is great to see. You know, yeah. and I really love that. Yeah. All right. We're going to take lucky. a quick break. Okay. McDreamy is going to give some CPR to some members of the audience. When we come back, we'll talk about Patrick's new movie. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow on Live from the new film Snowden, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Also the newly crowned Miss America. Dempsey has a scene from Bridget Jones' Baby, the third film in this series, yes. but you're a newbie. I'm the new guy, yes. I'm the American who comes in and, and has a, an interesting relationship with uh, yeah. Bridget. And there's a shocking twist, yes. right? Yes, yes. She, um, she doesn't know who the father is of the baby between uh, Darcy and uh, my character, Jack. Right. Uh, yeah, so that's the dilemma of like, who's the baby daddy. You've been in this game for a while, but to walk into a series... Right. And be the new kid on the block is that? Well, know, I was very do you nervous. Get intimidated at all still? Well, of course you do. Every day you get a, you know, there's something that makes you slightly nervous. You have to overcome. But um, I was because it, you know, it has such a great following. And of course, Hugh, you yeah. know, is a wonderful actor and, and was so great in the first two movies. Yeah. And I got to come in and, and, and sort of find my way. They were enough time had gone by where everybody was feeling very nervous and, you know, wanting to live up to the expectations and, and that helped tremendously. And Renee is the greatest. She's amazing. She's, She's the amazing. amazing. She person is ever. absolutely beautiful. Her comic timing and she also hits the emotional moments and, you know, just lovely to, to work with. And so giving, so supportive. All of them. It was great fun. And you that can... scene in particular was right. one of my favorites. Well, you shot in London. and that, We shot in London saying, and we were outside. Shooting and... down these iconic places. You have to walk across the bridges oh, and yeah. the shopping and the... It was beautiful. I loved it over there. But you can tell us now that we're all here, we're all together. Right. Who, who is the father? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Just one of the two of us. I can't tell you. That's part of it. <laughs> There's not a third guy. There is, um, th yeah, you'll have to go and see. Okay. We will see it when right, Bridget fine. Jones' okay. baby opens on Friday. You know who's coming up next?
So, yeah. So, <laughs> so Fia Loren is coming next. And that's her name, Fia Loren. Wednesday on Live, the star of Bridget Jones' Baby, Renee Zellweger. There are very few names that immediately bring to mind what it is to be a true Hollywood legend. But we have one here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Academy Award winning actress, Sophia Loren. <laughs> seeing you. you that was that was very funny you were all so enthusiastic that you actually scared her back into the wings <laughs> it's true, it's true. because uh, television I'm a little scared of television. Yeah. it's not so bad though is it now that you're here it's okay uh. <laughs> Aspettiamo. Let's wait. Okay. Let's wait. Sophia, how were you discovered back in Italy? You, you were so young, and it was part of some beauty pageant, uh, ironically, because I just hosted Miss America last night. But that's where you were discovered, right? Miss America? No, Miss Italy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. when uh, you were signed to a deal with Paramount Pictures. Any jewelry that falls off of you, I get to keep. That's, <laughs> that's actually the rule here. That's so, good idea. Yes. Yes. Thank Otherwise you. I lose Put those it, yeah. right into my yeah. brassiere. Yeah. <laughs> so you became, so you signed with Paramount Pictures. Uh, oh, but it was later on. Later on. But, yeah. but that's when internationally you became a, a, a movie star to Americanize. Is that, is that Ooh, true? With Paramount, with, yeah. with Paramount, I did many pictures. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. And also Century Fox and, uh, yeah, yeah. So in But this was later on after I've done, I had done some Italian films. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah. um, I, I want you to know that there's an iconic photo <laughs> that in America we love. Yeah. And um, there's a phrase in America called side eye. It's when you're sort of put off by somebody and you look at them kind of out size of the them corner up. of your eye. And this iconic photo. This is a photo that people say was the original side eye, the very first ever. I don't know, because that was the first time I was in America. Yes. And it was a party for me, and many actors, wonderful actors, were there. And then the last one to come in was Jane Mansfield. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I saw her on the door, I said, my God, we, I, I'm going to have a fit, because <laughs> I, I don't know what's going to happen to her, because, uh, I mean, if she moves, everything moves, and it's a disaster. Yes. <laughs> so, she, so she came in. She came in, and what did she do? She was doing like this on the table, yeah. and, and that was the look. Yeah. <laughs> But there she was already fine because she was sitting down. Right. So yes. I was relaxed. You were relaxed. At, yeah. at that point, you were completely yeah, relaxed. Yeah. Sophie, you won, you won an Oscar in 1962. Um, <laughs> for two women. Two Oscars. Yeah. Yes, but, that was the first. Two, two. That was the first, but you didn't, yeah. you didn't want to attend the Oscars. No, because I said to my husband, I said, uh, you know, it's something incredible that is happening to me. And uh, they are putting me with the five best actresses with a film in, spoken in Italian. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, so I said, um, I'm never going to win. So 
uh, because if I do, I'm going to faint. Right. Uh, if, I, if I faint on the stage, uh, it's not good. Right. I better faint at home. So my husband understood, and uh, so I, How did you I was find waiting. Um, you know, it, it's different of hours. Uh -huh. So uh, it was about 6 o'clock in the morning uh, in Italy that um, I said to my husband, uh, well, it was fun, it was wonderful, I was nominated. Trrr, the telephone rings. Oh. Hold on, on wait the for telephone. it. Cary Grant was on the telephone. Cary Grant. <laughs> Cary Grant called mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. This story and is so relatable. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, when we come back, Sophia's love life is also legendary. We're gonna talk to her about a choice she made between Cary Grant and her future husband. What a story. Wednesday on Live from the series Blind Spot, Jamie Alexander. Next Live, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Michael Weatherly, Miss America, and Carol Burnett. This is for you, Carol. Plus, my ear kind of itches. Plus, want to be Kelly's co-host for a day? Go to livekelly.com for more details. Show, touring, is that right? An uh, evening with Sophia Loren. Touring, touring is, uh, sometimes I do, sometimes, sometimes I do because. Uh, but tell us about it, what is it? It's a show where you sit down and just talk about your life and being a movie star and. Yes, and how so it from the beginning be. I speak and uh, people are very nice with me because it's, I think it's very, it's very good for, for me to do that because uh, you enjoy so much the public that is there because they follow you for years and years and years. And it's so wonderful, it's so moving sometimes that really it brings up tears sometimes, yeah. yes. Because you go over your life yeah. and little by little you experience and you, you are joyful, you suffer. There are so many things put together that uh, I like it, but you know, uh, this, um, I do it because um, um, I was doing a film in, uh, in America, uh, in New York, uh, and um, Carrie called, mm. and he said, uh, how are you? Because he was calling quite out, very nicely. And he said, fine, fine. I uh, said, what are you doing? He said, I'm, I'm doing a question and answers. And I said, what is that? Because uh, it's not a film. No, and he, he told me what he was doing. And he said, you should do it because you would enjoy it very much. Yeah. So I said to myself, I said, um, to be on a stage uh, for an hour and a half uh, talking about joyful things, sad things. I think it's something too much for me, I told him. And I said, well, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. But after a while, I was uh, called, and uh, they asked me to do question and answers, and I said, eh, why not? <laughs> You know, uh, Sophia, have the courage. You know, you've done so many things which were abrupt sometimes, which you shouldn't have done, maybe, sometimes. So try, try, and thank Carrie, you know. Well, we are... So I did, I People did. want to hear these stories, and they should hear these stories. I did, I did. <laughs> I'm sure you don't get tired of this. You are the number one player in the world. Yeah. Wow. 
And you're it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I yeah. did not know this stat about you, but 11 years ago, you were the first player bounced <laughs> out of the U.S. Open. You were eliminated. That's true. Do you remember who uh, who you lost to? Actually, it was um, 11 years ago. I came to New York like a really bad player, <laughs> and I came here and I said, "Okay, I love New York. I really would like to play in the U.S. Open." I was 17 years old and. Um, I didn't get the chance to play because everybody was here and I was okay hoping maybe one girl was withdraw and I told myself okay come on one day I will came back and I won it now 11 years later it's just amazing. Yeah. What a great story. You got a, a very special text message before the finals. Who was that from? From Steffi Graf. I mean she wrote me oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> Was she a big influence on yes, your life? Yes, she is really one, the biggest idol of my life. And she wrote me before the final that she is proud of me and she just wished me all the best. I had to enjoy it. And uh, after she texted me again with a big congratulations. And yeah, the hard work pays off. And this is the Certainly best did. thing ever. Well, yeah. We are all in four sets. Wow. Chris Harrison has a theory that the toe thing was a fake medical issue. <laughs> Can you tell us? The toe gate scandal. Yes. <laughs> it was no scandal. At the end, I won, so I don't mind. <laughs> And the very cool thing, first of all, congratulations. You were Thank incredibly you. gracious. I loved your speech afterwards. Djokovic is a very good friend of yours. How is it playing a very dear friend, someone you look up to, in such a key match in your life? Right. It's never easy when you play our friends, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, we know each other so well. Uh, the chance I have is uh, I always try to practice with the top player, the best player, and I practice many times with him. So for sure I can always learn from the number one player. As you're down on the ground and you've got the ball and you're getting ready to serve, right, and you're down here. Like right? you, know not, you know they're not wrestling, right? I know. I'm okay. This is, this is... okay, got it. And you're down there and you're getting ready to serve. Do you look at him and go, you're going down, Joker? <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, that was my goal. I yesterday. love you. You're my down. best friend, but down you go. Not yesterday. It wasn't my best friend on the I board. Mean. I said, you know what? Are, are you going to be kind of the new kid on the block? Because we've been talking so much about, you know, the big four between, you know, Murray and Djokovic and Federer and Nadal. It's some, there's some new blood at the top now. It's good. I'm, uh, I'm new winning, but uh, I'm already old for a tennis player. So <laughs> I don't know how hey, long I can stay. It's never too late, there. apparently. <laughs> Not too old. Do you and Angelique think that maybe you should play each other and then whoever wins gets to keep both trophies? <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. That's a good idea. She's still here. We can make it happen. Yeah, please. <laughs> if I can keep the both trophy, if I win, I will take it. What did you drink out of it last night? Too much. <laughs> Congratulations. Attaboy. U.S. Open champ, Stan Warwicka. Together? Very much so. Very much so. Yeah, very much so. And we have three, and we actually have a backlog. I don't have time. It's like JFK on a holiday. We have so many weddings to be, because we have the three from Paradise. Right. Um, we have JoJo, and we have uh, Jordan Rogers or Aaron Rogers from the Packers. Whichever one is fine. One of them. Yeah, and then, uh, of course, we have Ben and Lauren. Right. Who are going to get married this year, so that's a lot. It That's is a lot of weddings do I have you, coming up. Do you have to perform all the ceremonies? If no. they ask, I usually do now. It's kind of my thing. I think that people who get married on TV feel a greater pressure to stay together. And, and I <laughs> no, because we, right. we used to perform weddings here uh, every year for, was it Valentine's Day? Or, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. We do Valentine's Day. We got our Groundhog Day. Like, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and they're all still together, and I'm convinced it's because they did it on TV. Yeah, and right. you're, at that point, when everybody saw you get married, you got it. You got it. You got to stick it out. Maybe that is too many it. people. I always way. thought they were actually in love. Silly me. <laughs> Hopeless romantic. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> right. <laughs> How are your kids, by the way? My kids are, are they awesome. Grownups? Uh, yes, they're they're 35 and for <laughs> no. Let's see if I have a. Uh, 
Well, speaking of paradise, they were uh, they were with me. That's so. This is my paradise. You they, brought the kids to paradise. <laughs> yes, because I'm such. That is good parenting. Um, but that's that's Jordan and Connor, my niece and nephew. On a, and the bookends there is my daughter Taylor and Joshua, who's just started high school. I can't believe how big they are already. I have a high schooler. I have a collager. Yeah, don't. <laughs> You gotta trump me. You can't. Have, you, I can't have a minute. No, I'm just saying. It's like if yeah. you, th you think you think that you think that you know suffering, and then yeah, oh. actually, um, knock on wood, they're still they're, they are great, wonderful human beings. So yeah, I try to bring them. This is our summer vacation as they come down to paradise and learn what love is all about. Yeah. And um, they're interning under Jorge the bartender. Yeah. So it really is. Solid parenting. This is nature, kids. Child, nature. Child Protective Services is on their way here right now. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I have full-on teenager. I mean, my son, it's great. I can get up, go play golf, do everything, go work out, go shopping, do everything, come home about noon, and he's like, ugh. <laughs> He just, and then he wakes up, and yeah, then he stands right. up about three inches taller than I am now. No kidding. Yeah, I didn't. I did. I was hoping to make it to high school before he was bigger than me, but um, yeah. So Joshua and Taylor are doing great. Oh, uh, I can't. And how? And and wait, how old is she? She's she's twelve. He's fifteen. Twelve. Okay, turning fifteen 12. this week. Wow. Yeah, we have a fifteenth oh. uh, birthday coming up. Kinsey. Right? Yeah. Well, I also do bar mitzvahs and quinceañeras. Yes, I do. Yeah, of course, as well right. as weddings. Oh, that's exciting. Now, will he do anything special? Like, do your kids have birthday parties or? Oh, I'm huge on birthdays. You I, are. I have a season. Yeah. Mine just ended. Mine was back in July. Mine just ended. Yeah. Um, it's not too late if you guys want to get gifts. But yeah, we yes, we will have a big birthday celebration next weekend. My, uh, it's funny. My daughter, my daughter's birthday this year fell on my son's graduation. Oh. Um, and she let's not forget that most importantly, it is my birthday. You can do no right. I mean, you're it right. Was, you're in that wheelhouse yeah. right now. Uh, uh huh. Yep, that's a 15 year old girl right there <laughs> in a nutshell. Listen, we have a big show. I am so excited about today's you know, show. Look, for so many can reasons. Can I just jump in and say, yeah. you know, a lot of times you say you have a big show. No, no, we have big this show. show is insane today. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> it is insane today. Patrick Dempsey is here. I know. I, I saw him backstage. He is not that good looking. <laughs> I'm just telling you, be warned. It's all it was all makeup and it's all CG. He's not attractive. So handsome. And the incomparable Sophia Loren. <laughs> Crazy. I'm so nervous. I know. I, I'm nervous. You know who else is? I actually ran into Patrick Dempsey backstage, and he's like, Sophia Loren. I said, I know. We, we're all giddy. We're like eight-year-old kids on Christmas morning. Do you know what I did? I took a picture of the name tag on her dressing room door. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, we're a bunch of fangirls back here. By yeah. the way, uh, you, I'm a big sports guy. Oh, yeah. The U.S. Is... Open was incredible, and both winners, men's and women's champions, are here today. Yes. yes. And you yeah. Yeah, Angela Thurber. Yeah, very exciting. We have to talk about the men's final, toe gate. The oh, cramping toe gate. and the yes. toe gate, and we got a lot to talk about with yeah. that. Yeah, have you ever had a toe, an, is an issue with your toe? Mine are good. No, I have good toes. I have good feet. And yeah, I, yeah I, I've never done the fake blisters slash the cramping was happening. We got to get to the bottom of this. You toe think it gate. was a fake? I think it was a fake. Oh. I'm going on record. Who's the skeptic now? Oh. <laughs> Um, and also, we're going to talk about the new season of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Premieres today. Today. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. From Vegas. Yeah, we shot this season in Vegas. My second year of hosting Millionaire premieres today. Check your local listings. Um, really excited. We're going to talk but a little more about honestly, that later. Honestly, Chris, do people still want to be a millionaire? I mean, <laughs> and who would want to be a millionaire? <laughs> Okay. We have so many things to talk about. Okay, we'll get, I know, we'll get right? to it another time. Another time. Uh, it's time for, oh, put your, put your you. thing on. Yes, gotcha. Put it yes, on. We Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we spared no expense All of a sudden, this is like here. a bachelor. Mine's yeah. out of batteries. Uh, Gelman! <laughs> All right, it works anyway. The confetti will work. You know I have kids. When I, this is how you fix things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, That's, oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. It's time for Take Off Travel Trivia. <laughs> And ma'am, there's an exit right over there. Yeah. There's an exit right over there. Right here. Right here. Hey, uh, 
from Woodmere, New York, is Pearl Wolken, who's oh, our yeah. trivia man. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. I didn't. I didn't see her dance at all because I was too concerned. <laughs> She's, about the lady She's like, oh. oh. Who's on the phone? Um, who see. do we have? We have uh, Paul yeah. from Seattle, Washington. Kelly Paul. Kelly, Kelly Paul. Paul. Kelly Paul. Okay. Kelly Paul. Oh. Hi, Chris. Oh. Hi, Kelly. I got this. <laughs> hey, Kelly. What's going on? Callie's Nothing, calling us from. Guys? She's calling us from a kayak wow. in Seattle. <laughs> That's so cool. Is that Seattle? Oh yeah, I can see the. That is Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see it. Yeah. Very cool. What do you do uh, for a living? I sell mailing software. Oh. <laughs> you got nothing. You got nowhere to go with that. <laughs> now you just see it. Kelly's like, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. Got that that's sounds. fantastic. <laughs> Oh. Software sales for sure. And apparently yep. you love and apparently you love to kayak as well. Well that a job like that deserves a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Way to save it. There you go. You totally saved that. <laughs> Spin the wheel, see what you're playing for, Callie. Here's a great prize, the Esperanza in Cabo St. Lucas, Mexico. Nice. San Lucas. I just said St. Lucas. San Lucas. Seven days, six nights in an ocean view garden casita. <laughs> that sounds like paradise. That sounds good. Yeah. That sounds, that, and that does Jorge is. come with it? Does Jorge come with it? Ooh, that could be negotiated. Play your cards right, Callie. Yeah. We can arrange that. <laughs> it okay. includes a spa treatment per person. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $9,500. So you have 20 seconds and only one guest. Callie, good luck. All right, Callie, you ready to go? Yes. All right. Jessica Alba appeared on Friday's show. Whose swimming pool did Jessica say she modeled her own after? Whose swimming pool did Jessica Alba say she modeled her own after? Anderson Cooper. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Congratulations. You were the guest who enjoyed seven days and six nights at the Esperanza in Cabo San Lucas, the only private beach resort with an incomparable natural setting. Tucked between two scenic bluffs on the Baja Peninsula and boasting a world without luxury spa, championship golf courses, secluded beaches, and a vibrant nightlife, the award-winning luxury resort Esperanza... Monday, September 12, 2016. My co-host today, of course, is Chris Harrison. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. So good to see you again. Nice to see you here. So nice to see you here on such a somber and reflectful day uh, yesterday was. And to have you here today is uh, just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, well, yeah. it's good. And everyone seems fired up here. Yeah, today. yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Did you... Um, now, were you? Did you drive from Atlantic City? How did you get here? Because you're everywhere. Yeah. So, right now. so, for those of you who don't know, we did Miss America last night. Um, I got the name right. I was. Yes. That's really. Since since that debacle, I have not slept. Yeah, knowing, I bet. Knowing I bet. that I was going to be doing the next Miss America, the next big pageant, and I needed to say a name correctly, which shouldn't be a big deal. And in 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 the end, it was not. Right. Um, but yeah. It was, but it uh, is the kind of thing that keeps you awake. It does. At night. As a host, that is your biggest nightmare. And Miss America herself has a name that. To me, she her won. mom, her mom looked down and said, one day you will be Miss America. Right. <laughs> Savvy Shields. Savvy, Savvy Shields, Shields from Arkansas. Miss Arkansas, congratulations. Congratulations. But uh, yeah. There she is. Oh, she is here tomorrow. Okay, yeah. good. We got yes. our selfie right after the uh, yeah. ceremony. Uh, but yeah, Savvy Shields, I mean, that name is perfect. Yes. To either be a stunt woman or <laughs> Miss, Miss America. America. Yeah, yeah, you so can only, we, it goes one or two ways. So we, I'm like, here, here's your crown. I sprint out of there. I'm in Atlantic City, which typically I'm told is two hours away. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, who told you that? Well, and so it's midnight, so yeah. there's no traffic. No one's on the road. Right. So that somehow we made it a three hour tour. Yeah. It was Gilligan's Island all over again as we circled. So I drove into town last night, as you mentioned, is a very somber day. And, and we were struck by, you know, they had the uh, the twin beams going up into the heavens. Yes. And um, the Empire State Building was red, white and blue is very beautiful yes. scene last night. Um, and it we we uh we can see the lights the beam of lights from our apartment and uh and it was weird this year because i kept taking photos of it because we could see it so clearly and i would take photos with my cell phone um but that's my photo because i had to make it in black and white for you to see it in the picture it was so strange it was not showing up in the photos and then i and then i did the thing where you know how you can make the photo right. black and white and i did that Came and through. then you could see it it was really beautiful last night coming yeah. in that late Fia Loren. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I am nervous. You know who else is? I actually ran into Patrick Dempsey backstage and he's like, Sophia Loren. I said, I know. We, we're all giddy. We're like eight year old kids on Christmas morning. Do you know what I did? I took a picture of the name tag on her dressing room door. Right? Okay. Yeah, we're a bunch of fangirls back here. By yeah. the way, uh, you, I'm a big sports guy. Oh, yeah. The U.S. Open was incredible. And both winners, men's and women's champions, are here today. Yes. yes. Angela and Stan Wawrinka are here. Yeah, Angela Thurber. Yeah, very exciting. And we have to talk about the men's final, toe gate. The oh, cramping toe and the yes. toe gate, and we got a lot to talk about with yeah. that. Yeah, have you ever had a toe an, is an issue with your toe? Mine are good. No, I have good toes. I have good feet, and yeah, I, yeah I, I've never done the fake blisters slash the cramping was happening. We got to get to the bottom of this. You toe think it gate. was a fake? I think it was a fake. Oh. I'm going on record. Who is the skeptic now? Oh. <laughs> um, and also, we're going to talk about the new season of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Premieres today. Today. Yeah, I'm really excited about From it. From Vegas. Yeah, we shot this season in Vegas. My second year of hosting Millionaire premieres today. Check your local listings. Um, really excited. We're going to talk but a little more about honestly, that later. Honestly, Chris, do people still want to be a millionaire? I mean, <laughs> and who would want to be a millionaire? <laughs> okay, we got to we got to get to it. And we, okay. we have so many things to talk about. Okay, we'll get, I know, we'll get right? to it another time. Another time. Uh, it's time for oh, put your put got your you. thing on. Yes, got put you. it on. Yes, we do Look this. at that. <laughs> We spared no expense All of a sudden, this is like here. a bachelor. Mine's yeah. out of batteries. Uh, Gelman! <laughs> All right, it works anyway. The confetti will work. You know I have kids. When I, this is how you fix things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, That's oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. It's time for Take Off Travel Trivia. <laughs> there in the iPad, I hit you directly in the face with all, I mean, the entire thing in one clump went into your face. I know, I'm sorry. I got ner I got nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, right in her I eyes. I saw that. And, I will know. testify. <laughs> and ma'am, there's an exit right over there. Yeah. There's an exit right over there. Right here. Right here. Hey, uh, from Woodmere, New York, is Pearl Wolken, who's oh. our trivia man. Nailed it. Nailed it. I didn't, I didn't see her dance at Stage, uh, it's not good. Right. I better faint at home. So my husband understood, and uh, so I, How did you I find was out? waiting. Um, you know, it, it's different of hours. Uh -huh. So uh, it was about 6 o'clock in the morning uh, in Italy that um, I said to my husband, uh, well, it was fun, it was wonderful, I was nominated. Trrr, the telephone rings. Oh. Hold on, on wait for it. Cary Grant was on the telephone. Cary Grant. <laughs> Cary Grant called you. Mm -hmm. This and story is so relatable. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Talk to her about a choice she made between Cary Grant and her future husband. What a story. Yeah. Wednesday on Live from the series Blind Spot, Jamie Alexander. Next Live.
Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Michael Weatherly, Miss America, and Carol Burnett. This is for you, Carol. Plus, my ear kind of itches. Plus, want to be Kelly's co-host for a day? Go to livekelly.com for more details. show touring is that right an uh, evening with Sophia Loren touring touring is uh, sometimes I do sometimes, sometimes I do because uh, but tell us about it what is it it's a show where you sit down and just talk about your life and being a movie star and yes and how so it from all the beginning be. I speak and uh, people are very nice with me because it's I think it's very it's very good for for me to do that because uh, you enjoy so much the public that is there because they follow you for years and years and years. And it's so wonderful, it's so moving sometimes that really it brings up tears sometimes, yeah. yes. Because you go over your life yeah. and little by little you experience and you, you are joyful, you suffer. There are so many things put together that uh, I like it, but you know, uh, this, um, I do it because um, um, I was doing a film in, uh, in America, uh, in New York, uh, and um, Kerry called, mm. and he said, uh, how are you? Because he was calling quite out, very nicely. And he said, fine, fine. I uh, said, what are you doing? He said, I'm, I'm doing a question and answers. And I said, what is that? A question and answers, it's not a film. Everybody, good morning. <laughs> Great to be back on the show. Patrick, be honest. When you open your eyes in the morning, is that the response? <laughs> Just, when you wake up, it's like just. I wish. What a what a great way to ruckus start applause. The day. Yeah. It's Jeez. It's I, a little quieter at home. Yeah. It's funny. It's I'm watching grown women um, cry. They're crying. Uh, really? <laughs> they're crying. People always oh, say no. people always say swooning, but I've never seen it. Yeah, they're actually. That's what, that's what it looks that's like. That's what a swoon looks like. That's what a yeah. swoon looks mm -hmm. like. Well, you okay, lady? You want a fan? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh my God. Come here. What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh. New York, a nice week for Pearl. If there were only, sorry. Okay, sir. Now everybody. Why not? Is Se Pearl? Security. Thank you. Security. Is there a doctor in the house that plays one on TV? So clearly, uh, so clearly, you will always be uh, McDreamy. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. It was a great ride. Do you ever go to McDonald's? <laughs> You know, I did once. I, we had, um, I was, uh, I was, as I was in Japan. Mm -hmm. We had just won um, a race over there, uh, at PG, and we and, oh, the, right. and we went to celebrate, and we went to McDonald's yeah. because you no, know, I was really, really conscious of what you know. You're, you, you know, you're training, you're right. watching your diet. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm gonna go have a burger. Yeah. And we went in in this uh, McDonald's uh, out in the countryside in Japan, and, and that's when I went to McDonald's. And it and when and was it a regular McDonald's or sure. was it special? It, well, they had like uh, like uh, a mixed shrimp. Mixed shrimp, <laughs> which was funny. So anyway, no but when they I saw know. you, they must have thought that you were. They didn't think they they couldn't quite understand what I was doing there, but that was fun. McDreamy uh, just that was the last time I went to McDreamy. Get the mixed shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're always going to be McDreamy, but uh, yeah, I mean I'm grateful for that. But yeah, sure. Back in the day, tell me this movie means a lot to you because it was such a good movie. Can't buy me love. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. How old were you? Much younger than I am today. Right. I was in, uh, you, I think it was 19 or 20, I think, when I okay. did that movie. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that was the first movie that was very successful for me. Oh my it changed my career completely. Yeah. And, uh, of course, there's Amanda, who uh, we yeah. unfortunately just lost a year ago. Yeah, so sad. sad very very that. sad, yes. Sad news, yeah. Does, has your daughter seen that movie? The kids, yes. How old is she? Because she's... My daughter's 14. Four, oh, 14, okay. And I it goes by so quickly. I saw yeah. the pictures of right. your daughter. It's like, and just now, like the... there's that transition from, like, girl to now she's this young woman. I mean, it's amazing how beautiful and... And oh, what's great is family. she's so beautiful inside that it's just it's great to see. You know, yeah. and I was really love that. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. Okay. McDreamy's gonna give some CPR to some. <laughs> <laughs> Or 
maybe it's when I am drunk. Right. I don't know. But there are people I really enjoy so much when we are both drunk. It's like the, the, the famous line from the country song, you ain't much fun since I quit drinking. <laughs> That's, That's so good, true. That's a good song. Yeah, um, so, so so what happened with The Bachelor in Paradise? There were three, three, three. engagements, right? What more do you want from but me? None three of proposals. These, none of these people will get married, though, right? Stop I mean, yeah, that's not true. No, I've, come on, I've be married, honest. I married uh, Tanner and Jade this summer. They got right. Wait, you married them yourself? I met, yeah, I actually officiated the wedding. You did? Yeah, I've officiated like three bachelor weddings. <laughs> Do you feel like a, 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 I'm sensing your skepticism? Yeah. I get it. It's well, washing you know, all over. I'm, me. No, I'm very. You know, I'm the biggest. Skeptic. No, I know. I'm the biggest I skeptic. Know. How many of are they still together? Very much so. Very much so. Yeah, very much so. And we have three, and we actually have a backlog. I don't have time. It's like JFK on a holiday. We have so many weddings to be because we have the three from Paradise. Right. Um, we have JoJo, and we have uh, Jordan Rogers or Aaron Rogers from the Packers. Whichever one is fine. One of them. Yeah, and then uh, of course we have Ben and Lauren. Right. Who are going to get married this year. So that's a lot. It that's is. That's a lot, lot of weddings do I you, have coming up. Do you have to perform all the ceremonies? If no. they ask, I usually do now. It's kind of my thing. I think that people who get married on TV feel a greater pressure to stay together. And, and I <laughs> no, because right. we, we used to perform weddings here uh, every year for, was it Valentine's Day? Or, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. We do Valentine's Day. We got Day a Groundhog Day. Day. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and they're all still together, and I'm convinced it's because they did it on TV. Right. And you're, at that point, when everybody saw you get married, you got it. You got it. You got to stick it out. Maybe that is too many it. people. I always way. thought they were actually in love. Silly me. <laughs> Hopeless romantic. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> right. <laughs> How are your kids, by the way? My kids are, are they awesome. Grownups? Uh, yes, they're they're 35 and <laughs> no. Let's see if I have a. Uh, well, speaking of paradise, they were uh, they were with me. That's so. This is my paradise. You they, brought the kids to paradise. <laughs> yes, because I'm such. That is good parenting. Um, but that's that's Jordan and Connor, my niece and nephew. On a, and the bookends there is my daughter Taylor and Joshua, who's just started high school. I can't believe how big they are already. I have a high schooler. I have a colleger. Yeah, don't. <laughs> You gotta trump me. You can't. Have, you, I can't have a minute. No, I'm just saying. It's like if yeah. you, th you think you think that you think that you know suffering, and then yeah, oh. actually, um, knock on wood, they're still they're, they are great, wonderful human beings. So yeah, I try to bring them. This is our summer vacation as they come down to paradise and learn what love is all about. Yeah. And um, they're interning under Jorge the bartender. Yeah. So it really is. Solid parenting. This is nature, kids. Child, nature. child Protective Services is on their way here right now. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I have full on teenager. I mean, my son, it's great. I can get up, go play golf, do everything, go work out, go shopping, do everything, come home about noon, and he's like, ugh. <laughs> He just, and then he wakes up. And yeah. then he party for Michael. I offered her the opportunity to have a birthday party a month before his graduation. She said no. She doesn't want a keen say. She just wants a sweet 16. Okay, fine. So I welcome everybody to Michael's graduation party. And she stands up and says, and let's not forget that most importantly, it is my birthday. <laughs> You can do no right. I mean, you're right. Was, you're in that wheelhouse yeah. right now. Uh huh. Yep, that's a 15 year old girl right there <laughs> in a nutshell. Listen, we have a big show. I am so excited about today's you know, show. Look, for so many can reasons. Can I just jump in and say, yeah. you know, a lot of times you say you have a big show. No, no, we have. Big this show is insane today. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> it is insane today. Patrick Dempsey is here. <laughs> I saw him backstage. He is not that good looking. <laughs> I'm just telling you, be warned. It's all it was all makeup and it's all CG. He's not attractive. So handsome. And the incomparable Sophia Loren. <laughs> Crazy. I'm so nervous. I know. I, I'm nervous. You know who else is? I actually ran into Patrick Dempsey backstage, and he's like, Sophia Loren. I said, I know. We, we're all giddy. We're like eight-year-old kids on Christmas morning. Do you know what I did? I took a picture of the name tag on her dressing room door. Right? Okay. Yeah, we're a bunch of fangirls back here. By yeah. the way, uh, you, I'm a big sports guy. Oh, yeah. The U.S. Open was incredible, and both winners, men's and women's champions, are here today. Yes. yes. And yeah, Angelique Thurber. Yeah, very exciting. And we have to talk about the men's final, Toe Gate. 
<laughs> the cramping toe and the yes. toe gate, and we got a lot to talk about with yeah. that. Yeah, have you ever had a toe an, an issue with your toe? Mine are good. No, I have good toes. I have good feet, and yeah, I, yeah I, I've never done the fake blisters slash the cramping was happening. We got to get to the bottom of this. You toe think it gate. was a fake? I think it was a fake. Oh. I'm going on record. Who is the skeptic now? Oh. <laughs> Um, and also, we're going to talk about the new season of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Premieres today. Today. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. From Vegas. Yeah, we shot this season in Vegas. My second year of hosting Millionaire premieres today. Check your local listings. Um, really excited. We're going to talk but a little more about honestly, that later. Honestly, Chris, do people still want to be a millionaire? I mean, <laughs> and who would want to be a millionaire? <laughs> Okay. We have so many things to talk about. Okay, we'll get, know, we'll get right? to it another time. Another time. Uh, it's time for, oh, put your, put your you. thing on. Yes, gotcha. Put it yes, on. We, Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we spared no expense All of a sudden, this is like here. a bachelor. Mine's yeah. out of batteries. Uh, Gelman. <laughs> All right, it works anyway. The confetti will work. You know I have kids. When I, this is how you fix things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, That's, oh, oh, there we go. 